Oh, hey there. I'm here in my kitchen. And today I'm going to be answering the age-old question. How did you do that? In regards to Aceto Corsa hand tracking, right? A few people have asked me, yeah, how you do that, you know? Hmm, oh yes. And, uh, yeah, it's quite simple. Good evening, class. We're here today to teach uh, what I just said in that last part, right? Hand tracking. I'm Professor Dickies. And we're going to get started right now. Things you need. Oculus. Uh, MetaQuest 2. Virtual Desktop, yes. There are some free versions sort of like this. I haven't tried them. They might work, they might not. But basically, if you don't have Virtual Desktop, the Quest 2 won't let you bring your hands into your PC. Content Manager, of course, everybody knows this. If you're playing a set of Corsa, you're going to want Content Manager. Right, so with the Quest 2, I'll play a quick clip and uh, show you how to activate hand tracking on the Quest 2. All right, we're here in the Oculus headset. I never record like this, but I had to for this part. So, to activate this lovely hand tracking, you're gonna wanna open your Oculus menu, oop, like this, and you're gonna go here, go into settings, uh, movement tracking, and then you're gonna wanna turn this on, hand tracking. Obvious, right? Easy. From there, if you go over here, quick settings, you got it right down here. You just want to make sure that's blue. See, I turned it off. Now I got to grab my controllers. And then you got to press this. And don't press any buttons on your controllers when you put them down. Don't press anything. Just like that. Simple as that. Now you're in. You have your hand tracking engaged. Yes. Once that's done, we're going to move on to virtual desktop. You're going to want to buy this on the Quest 2, I believe. Not the Steam version. Buy it in Quest 2 store, whatever that is. I think it was like $20 when I bought it. That's Canadian money. So, I couldn't actually find it in the Oculus store on the headset. So what you gotta do is go to the website. I believe, click on shop. Apps and games. Search Quest. Type in virtual desktop. Wada bing, wada boom, there you go. $25 Canadian. Buy that. I know it's annoying. There might be the free stuff. You can try to figure that out if you want. But here you go. $25 Canadian virtual desktop. Boom. Right. Simple. Just like that. And then content manager. Um, this is pretty simple. I'll show you what to do to activate the hand tracking in VR. Go to settings. Uh, Assetto Corsa. Video, make sure you set it to Open VR. I don't think the Oculus Rift one works, so go to Open VR, click on Custom Shaders Patch, scroll down till you find Mode Tweaks VR, and then click this box on Move Driver Model Hands with Controllers. Do that. I suggest you turn off all this because it's going to give you um, like blue, I don't know, little little crosses and and lines sticking out of your fingers and stuff. I just use my mouse for the, the uh, UI integration and all that crap. But this is the important one. If you want to have these on, go for it. Just make sure you click that on. You're good to go. Ba-boom. Easy. Easy peasy. Just like that. No problem, right? Super easy. Now, to tweak it and get the perfect hand tracking. The eye position thingy. You're going to want to open that up. Um, up again, I'll play a clip. All right, this eye tracking thingy. Since the, um, there's a menu on the side when you're in game, not right now. There's a menu on the side when you hover your mouse over the right hand side, right? For some reason, when you're in VR, you can't actually left click on any of that stuff, or I can't. So what I suggest is going to app windows, scroll on down, and uh, that's driver eye positioner right here. This is the important one. Stick that on one of your, um, 
uh, display visible screen thingies. There's different screens you can go. Uh, how do I do that real quick? Okay, in controls. Uh, do, 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 system, perhaps. UI. Okay. So next desktop, just bind that somewhere on your wheel, okay? Because then all you got to do is press that button. The eye positioner thing is going to pop up on your screen. And that way you can actually have it open. Once it's open, you can use your mouse to click on it and control everything. But you can't open it with the mouse when you're in VR, okay? If you keep on the um, UI integration, it should work with your hands or your controllers, but that's annoying to me. So yeah, just bind next desktop, which is in controls under system, bind that to your wheel. And then yes, just press it, simple. And another thing, reset camera in VR, I would bind that with a modifier on. So you press those two buttons, and uh, your VR view is going to kind of like recenter. It's not going to be perfect, but you're going to want to have that bound to your thing too. It's important. Okay, I'll show you why later. Okay, so you're in game and it might look something like this. This is where you're going to want to have um, your reset view buttons bound. Click them. Now it should be a little better, right? Simple. From there, oh, hang on, I don't actually have hand tracking on. There, these are my hands, not my controllers. But look, we don't line up at all. It sucks, right? So basically, you're gonna do your next uh, display button thingy-mabob, right? And you're gonna have this, this is the eye positioner thingy-mabob. All you gotta do is move it around. You might wanna turn your head a little bit if you're in this position. Just play around with uh, the reset view buttons until you're somewhat centered, right? And then we can move, do the rest with this. Move over, C position, forward, and uh, yeah, look at that. We're on the wheel. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty, pretty easy, right? World scale. This is in your Oculus. Uh, settings right here or sorry steam VR settings you can change the world scale and play the clip you're gonna want to press on your left hand the oculus button it's gonna open up your video settings go in there custom get nope nope override world scale I've got it to normal and then I do about 85 percent which makes everything a little smaller oop, oop. I want 85. Perfect. So now, I set it to 85. You might have to play around with this. But if it was 100, they'd probably be more like inside the wheel because the wheel would be bigger. Now I can move my hands much farther around the wheel. And uh, you'll see what I mean if you just play with it yourself, okay? I'm having trouble explaining it. But basically, it just shrinks everything down, okay, in the game, making your wheel smaller to match your Logitech G29 or whatever wheel you have. If you got a really big wheel, you probably don't need to do this. Or um, if you just keep your hands at the top of the wheel, you don't need to do this. But I like to be able to have my hands a little more like this. Okay? Bada boom, bada bing, we're out of here, kid. Yes. Now the wheel position IRL or in real life, right? This, if you're having trouble getting the perfect spot, in game, you can't get your hands to line up. You're gonna. I'm not gonna play a clip because I don't want to film in real life. But yeah, just m tweak the position of your wheel. Maybe pull your chair back, pull the wheel up. Put uh, you know, do whatever you can to get that wheel in the right spot. If you're like me, with a Logitech G920, it's kind of hard um, because it's quite a small wheel, right? That's why we do the world scale. But I showed you that, and then. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, you have hand tracking, woohoo! You yeah, see, it really is quite simple, isn't it? About as simple as a deep fryer. I didn't turn on the oil. There you go. Ah, yes. It's beautiful. Now I will enter. Mm.